What went we out into this wilderness to find? Leaving our country, kindred, our father's houses. For what? For the kingdom of God. Welcome to Film Fanatics presented by St. George News. I'm Adam Mass with Cinemass.net. And I am film critic Bruce Bennett with madaboutmovies.org. Well, Bruce, we're going to talk about a little independent horror film called The Witch. So let's set things up. As this creepy, unnerving movie opens, a Puritan family must start anew after being banished from their New England community circa 1630. Uh, with very little to call their own, all they really have is each other. And after building a farm just out of, outside a dense forest, uh, their youngest infant goes missing. Boo! <laughs> And uh, Mother Catherine has no uh, kind words to say for her teenage daughter, Thomason. Um, and of course, the father of the family thinks there must be a rational explanation for what happened to this infant. Well, Adam, uh, I was bewitched, bewildered, and bothered by this uh, film in a good way, yeah. to quote a show tune. Uh, first of all, it's got creepy atmosphere. You mm -hmm. hit the nail on the head. You know, it takes place in about 1630, right. early America, New England. This is about 60 years before the Salem witch trials. Right. And so we have this family that's an outcast. They're out on their own. And it's really a family story. It is. And the thing I like about what the director, uh, Robert Eggers, I right. think his Robert name Eggers. is. Um, first time director, amazing. Mm -hmm. And he won all kinds of awards at the Sundance Film Festival. But this is an ominous mounting tension. Exactly. This isn't the type of horror film where This is not, as I like to call it, the cat jumping on the windowsill yeah, scare. Yeah, jump scares or booze out of the this and so some people may find it a little a bit of a well slow it's pol burn. polarizing audiences for right. this very fact yeah. mm -hmm. I think people going in expecting it to be like the conjuring or insidious they're going to be really disappointed right. Right. I would compare this more to something like uh, the works of Kubrick, specifically The Shining. I think right, it has a right. similar build, or even something like Rosemary's Baby, where you're mm -hmm. kind of, it, where it's off kilter. Yeah. You're like, what's right. going on? Um, but another film I, I would even compare it to, maybe not aesthetically, um, but something like The Babadook, which uh, just in so much that this is really a movie about a family in crisis. Yeah, I think it capitalizes on the God fearing nature of the Puritan settlers, right. and it's a very uh, authentic setting. And, oh man, the dialects uh, in the this dialect, movie. You know, they speak almost like a biblical language. Lots of these and thous and come hither's, and it it requires concentration. It does. It's a slow uh, burn. Definitely. But but I that term bothers me sometimes only because a lot of people consider that they hear derogatory. Words, well, they hear the word slow instead of the word burn, which right. is right. Well, it, it is a very <laughs> methodically paced movie, but the pacing serves a distinct purpose. Right. I think, and right. that's one of the things I love about this. Uh, Robert Eggers is an absolute master of tone. I mean, this movie mm -hmm. does, it builds an ominous sense of dread and it all culminates in this ending that's really creepy. So much crazy stuff going on in this movie. There's I a, like how the end does wrap up quickly. I think it does. the ending will polarize. It it gets om, verges almost on the campy. Uh, don't you I wouldn't say bit? campy. You're just not ever quite certain if what you're watching, if there's a really right. a supernatural happening going on or if this is psychological. Let's, but, let's talk about actors. Uh, oh, the phenomenal. girl who plays Thomason, yeah. Anya, Anna Anya Taylor. Joy. Joy, and right. this is a new actress. She's maybe the central figure. Is she a witch? Is she not? Who's? What's really going on here? Yeah. You know, a baby disappears, animals die, and mom begins to go crazy. And I don't think it's gratuitous. There are no. some bloody, violent moments, but but this is it's, more. It's it's more tonal and atmospheric. Yeah, and right. by the way, the real scene still stealer in this movie is Black Philip the Goat. Who we, but we don't want. We, 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 won't reveal. we don't want to go too too much into that. Well, I think so, Adam and I are in agreement. Yeah. S summing up. Um, Definitely uh, see it. It's, yeah. This this is my kind of horror. This right. is this is the kind of horror where the cat disappears before it has a chance to jump on the windowsill. My favorite <laughs> right. kind of horror. So I say see it. And I say see it too. Well there you have it. Another episode of Film Fanatics. Until next week, I'm Adam Mast with Cinemast.net. And I'm Bruce Bennett with madaboutmovies.org. And we're Film Fanatics. Are, Are you? you? I said next week. That really doesn't make sense because no, we're going to have so another show in a couple of days. Sense. We're going to do an Oscar show. Oh, we are. You ready for that? Can't wait. From Satan to the Oscars. Yes.